How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking spatchcock chicken. If you've never spatchcocked a chicken before, all it really is is another method for cooking a whole chicken. Basically, you just take out the spine, lay it flat, and what that allows is, number one, a faster cook time, and number two, even cooking throughout the bird so you're not having your breasts overdone and your thighs not quite done or vice versa. So it's super simple. Today we're gonna be running on the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600, and I'm really excited because we're gonna be using cooking pellets apple mash blend pellets. So first time gonna be using them. I'm really looking forward to it. So let's quit the talking, let's get in and I'll show you exactly how we're going to spatchcock this chicken. Okay guys, you can see we have our chicken here. All we're going to do is flip it over and you can kind of tell if you look right here, this is where the spine is gonna be. So all we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and remove that. So you can use a knife for this. I prefer kitchen shears. It just seems to make my job a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna try and find where each side of the spine is. And I'm just going to cut up the side of the spine. And generally, after that first cut, you can kind of open it up and see where it's at. So now that we've got the one side cut open, we're just gonna go ahead and follow the spine on the other side. And that's why I said a kitchen shears kind of makes this a little bit easier for me. Uh, I've done it with a knife before. Just be careful so you don't cut yourself if that's the method you prefer to use. So at that point, we got our chicken opened up. I just wanna go ahead and remove any of this junk that's attached here and get that out of there. So once we have our chicken to open up, all we wanna do is just kinda of make a little cut there in the middle of the breastbone and just kind of push it down and that's just going to allow the chicken to lay flat on our cooker and that's pretty simple you can see you got the rib cages here some people go ahead and try and take those out or they'll take out this keel bone i don't really worry about it for at home it's not a big deal to me so and then you can see if we flip it over this is how our chicken is going to lay on the smoker and you can see this is not the prettiest chicken we got some weird skin going on here, but that's all right. You can kind of fix it and make it work. So yeah, so then that is how the chicken will lay on the smoker. And that's gonna, like I said, allow even cooking throughout the bird. So let's go ahead and get this seasoned up. Okay guys, now to season up the underside of the bird, I'm just gonna be using Tailgater's Barbecue Party Rub from Suckle Busters. This is just gonna give a little flavor on the underside. So go ahead and get that all seasoned up. We're gonna go pretty heavy, just get a little flavor under there. Now once we get the underside seasoned up, you guys know I'm a huge fan of cooking on racks, and like I said, this just makes it easy for transport and easy for moving it around on the cooker in order to get an even cook. If we need to rotate, we can rotate. If one side's starting to look a little more darker than the other, we can go ahead and just move our rack instead of having to pick up the whole bird. And also what this allows is once we have it seasoned, we don't have to touch the bird and mess up any of our seasoning on the presentation side here. So I highly advise going ahead and putting it on a rack to cook it on. It's not gonna hurt anything and it really does make things more convenient and I'll have a link for everything I use down in the description below as always. So once you kind of get it on the rack how you want it, we'll go ahead and just kind of make that skin look presentable. Get the bird on there because remember how we put this on the cooker is exactly how it's going to cook. So we want to kind of take the time to get things right the first time. So at this point, I'm gonna come in with my Tailgaters Barbecue Party Rub. I'm just gonna go ahead and give an even coat all over the bird, like so. Make sure you get under the wings, get everything seasoned up. We wanna just build on layers of flavor on this bird here. So now that we have our base layer done, that's looking really good. Just kinda go ahead and press that in. And at this point, we're gonna come in with Suckle Busters Texas Pecan Barbecue Rub. This is just gonna give us a nice flavor and as well as a nice color on this bird. So just kinda go ahead and get that seasoned up. Okay, and now you can see we have our bird completely seasoned up. It looks great, and like I said, with this rack, we can just transport it like this. We don't have to touch any of the seasoning on this bird. It's not gonna get messed up. We're not gonna leave fingerprints. It's just gonna be 
a nice presentation side when we get it off the cooker, hopefully. So I will meet you guys outside at the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600. Okay guys, we have our pit running at 250 degrees right now for the first, I don't know, half hour or so just to get a little smoke on this bird. And you can see how I put this on here. I'm gonna face the legs towards the fire pot, the legs and thighs because that's darker meat. We can take that to a higher internal, internal temperature and it'll be just fine. So we really wanna kinda of protect the breasts here and not overcook those. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go ahead and just get these sitting like that and we'll come back out and check on about a half hour 45 minutes so see you then okay guys it has been one hour you can see we have some fantastic color here we've been running at 250 degrees using the cooking pellets apple mash blend it smells wonderful we've been getting a lot of good smoke on the bird and uh, yeah that's fantastic color you can see here I went and put a probe in the thickest part of the breast just to make sure that we don't overcook this bird and I did kick up the heat to 325 degrees just to help crisp up that skin and get this bird cooked so you can see I have my Thermoworks smoke hooked up to it. I have a high alarm set of 155 degrees so we can come out and sauce the bird when our alarm goes off and we'll be able to monitor it inside with this uh, portable receiver here. So yeah, we're, once it hits 155 degrees, we'll come out and uh, do a double check with our Thermopen, make sure all our temps are good and then we'll get this bird sauced up and let the sauce set and we'll give it a taste test. But really happy so far with this cook. It's uh, looking wonderful. And I did just want to take a minute to talk about these cooking pellets. Hopefully you guys can tell here, but these are all pretty universal sized and they're small. So your auger isn't going to be working hard to feed these through and break them up. So really happy with that. Really happy with the size of these pellets. I'm really happy with the amount of smoke I've gotten from them. It's absolutely fantastic. So I will see you guys when our alarm goes off and we will check the internal temp of the bird. See you guys then. Okay guys, it's been about another 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check the bird. Our Thermoworks smoke just went off. So I'm just going to come in here and we are reading about 157-ish. So that's a good time for us to go ahead and sauce the bird. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Then all I have here is some Suckle Busters honey barbecue sauce. And all we're gonna do is just come in and hit the bird with it get a nice even glaze on it and as that warms up even more that's room temp but as that warms up even more it's just going to spread and cover the bird just want to go ahead and get that covered that's looking fantastic we got really nice shine on it so we're going to go ahead and let that sauce set for i don't know five minutes or so we're going to turn down the heat to 300 we don't want that sauce to burn so we're going to let that sauce set and we'll probably be around that 163 range in there. We'll bring it in, we'll let it rest. That'll climb up to about 165-ish. So I'll bring you back when the sauce is set. We'll see you then. Okay guys, it has been five minutes and just look at that color. That is what that Suckle Busters Honey Barbecue Sauce does for you. That is a beautiful color, beautiful glaze. This thing's temping at 165 in the thickest part of the breast. The thighs and legs that are about 175, 180, and that'll be just fine because that's dark meat, has more fat. Some of them are even pushing 190, but it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna get this inside, let it rest for 10 minutes, and then I'll bring you back for the taste test. So we will see you then. Okay guys, and here it is. Here's our beautiful spatchcock yardbird. This thing looks awesome, it smells wonderful. I love the color on it. It has a wonderful smoke flavor from those cooking pellets, the apple mash blend. So enough talking, let's just jump in and try it. We're gonna go straight down the breastbone here. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's nice and juicy. It smells wonderful, cooked perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and cut me off a little piece here. Look at that. tender as can be falling apart let's go ahead and give it a try man that is absolutely wonderful it's got a nice smoky flavor from those apple mashed pellets it's got a sweetness from that Texas pecan and then it's got some savoriness from the tailgaters barbecue party rub and then sauced with that honey barbecue sauce it's an absolute winner I'm gonna go ahead and try another piece look at that I mean it is just juicy as can be super tender 
You guys, that is absolutely wonderful. If you've never spatchcock a chicken before, you're really missing out on a quick, easy cook that is packed with flavor. And I mean, look at this half chicken. That looks absolutely awesome. So what I'm gonna do with the rest of this chicken is, I'm just gonna shred it up, and then I'm gonna take the skin and chop it up real fine and mix it in, that way we can still get some of that flavor. And then I'm gonna use the leftovers for tacos, chicken sandwiches, salads, whatever you want, the possibilities are endless. All I know is this bird is completely packed with flavor. It's got a wonderful smoke taste from those cooking pellets, apple mash blend, absolutely fantastic. Quick, easy cook, you could do this on a weekday, have a nice spatchcock chicken dinner, meal prep with it, whatever you wanna do. So. It's absolutely awesome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.